morning this is Cindy welcome to my channel and um, I today we're going to be making something I think that, this is something you can mass make um, this is my idea book by the way I have my tassel that I made in, out of the chindi rug that's in here on here I have I haven't sewn any of my signatures in yet but I have my original idea book and I'm actually going to go here and pull out what we're making today so let me set this aside. We'll put it up here. But we're making these tags today out of scrap pieces of cardstock, whatever you happen to have. And you see how it just flips up and provides a writing space. And in the idea book, I'll grab it back out here again, I just slid it into a pocket. So it can just slide into a pocket like that, pull it out, and you have a writing space. You also have a writing space on the back. I chose to leave the black back blank because that way you have another writing space. So we're going to leave this one out for now. We'll put that away. And I pulled out a couple of pieces that we can use. These are scrap pieces that will make really nice tags. There we go, we'll pull that one. We're only gonna do one of the green, I got all these green, and I don't think I'm gonna do this one. This one's a, um, the, this tag is, most of them are three inches. This one's a three inch tag, that one's a three inch tag. These are three inch extra pieces. Let me just grab one of those, I don't need all of them. And we'll fold it in half. There we go. And again, so now I've got two of them. And then I have this piece that I am never, ever, ever going to use. It's a piece of 12 by 12. I don't particularly care for it. So I'm going to cut it up into three inch tags. So there's one. And there's... and three and four okay we're done now with the cutter so we're going to put the cutter away we'll grab out the glue book just for things that we want to add and I'm only I won't do all of these on camera we'll just take one of them for now so this one I'm going to go ahead and fold down with now so this one makes a six inch high one That'll be good for a travel journal. Hang on, get my piece out here again. So now I have three different tags that I can, and three different sizes, and that's fine. This was a piece of leftover as well. Now, what I have also pulled out, let me set these aside just for a minute. I went through my stash of borders. I have all of these borders left over from scrapbooking. Obviously, some of them are starting to get a little um, messed up. There's some vellum ones here. There's a short one there. Um, let's go through and see what we've got here. This is an entire pack of kind of shiny ones. It looks like with toucans on it. I don't know. I, not even opened yet. These are pieces that have just been left over, some solid pieces. There's some, there's another piece of vellum. Uh, that's a sticker. There's some sticker pieces here, sticker borders. More vellum pieces. I've got a lot of vellum pieces. I've got these and these. All of these are stickers and then these are die cuts. So I've got all of these borders. These are also... Uh, these I thought these were stickers when I bought them. They are not. They are die cuts, but they are on a sticker background or on, they're, they're on a pad. They're die cuts on a pad. So when you take them off, I'm going to take one of those off. Maybe I can get it off. Okay. Because I think I want to use this one. I'm trying to get it off very gently without ripping it. There. 
um, it's not a sticker on the back. It's got to be glued. So there we go. All right, so I have all of these borders, and I want to use them up. I'm tired of them hanging around. Obviously, they're starting to get in bad shape because no matter where I put them, it seems like something gets in the way of them. So we're going to use those on these, and we're going to make tags. Now, I don't know about you. I do know how I work. Um, I want that size. And I know that if I don't tag it first, if I don't do the cutting first, that I will forget and I will go ahead and decorate right up to the corner. And then I end up cutting off my decoration. And that's not what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my tags first. My corners. And cut them into a tag shape. I got this idea for the credit card from uh, using just an old store card from Carrie the Crafter, and I love it. It makes things very, very easy. Now, this is a slightly smaller card, so I think I want to go with, I mean, it's still three inches wide, but it's not very long. So I think I'm going to go with a smaller corner. And all you do, I didn't even measure these when I cut it. This is an old Lint store card. Um, I don't even think we have that store anymore. I'm not sure uh, locally. But anyway, I cut up the rewards card that was out of date. And I did three different angles. And on an old Sears card, I did two tiny little angles for smaller pieces. So this one expired in 2015. I don't. We don't even have a Sears cart, a Sears store anywhere locally anymore, which is a shame because I liked Sears. Okay, so now I have three of these, and I have where's that one that I just had that was really okay. So this one's not going to work on either of those, but it'll work very nicely on here. So I'm going to cut that right here. And then I'm going to cut, I want two of them. So I'm going to cut another one. And I could measure this and simply cut three inches, but you know, that's like work. I'm going to put one and one right up here and one down here. Where's my glue stick? There we go. And we're going to just attach them. So I would like to say hello and welcome to all of my subscribers. Um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I have, I, I had a squee moment this week because on Friday, that glue stuck to me everywhere here. On Friday, Gail Agostinelli commented on my stack and whack video. Oh my glory. It was so wonderful. Um, I had mentioned her and, of course, linked to her in my comments because um, she's the one I learned it from. And so I wanted to make sure I gave her credit. And she came and she subscribed. Gail, I am so thrilled. You are just, you absolutely made my day. Um, it was, that's just amazingly wonderful. So thank you so much for that. Okay, I'm going to leave that set for a minute because we're going to do some other things with it. But right now, I'm just doing what I can with the pieces that I have here. So I have this little vellum. Actually, that's kind of pretty, but it doesn't, it's not, it, that would be better like on a four, four, four wide one. Let me grab one. This is four wide. Yeah, that would be better on something like that. So we'll save that piece of vellum for something else at a later time. And we have, oh, I have some denim ones. This might be kind of nice to do a, with the logs, kind of do a denim piece. Hmm. I just want to see how that's going to look over there. It's going to get lost. I'm a little worried it's going to get lost. I think I'm going to find a solid first. And then the denim. So I have all of these solids. There we go. There we go. 
I have two packs of these that are um, not even that one's not even cut open. Is this one cut open at the top? This one's cut open at the top. So let's pull out of pull out of here. And these are double sided. This particular set is purple on one side and this color on the other, and I want that color. So let me cut my. Actually, this one, I think I am going to go ahead and put a mark so I know where I am because that's a little bit harder to see. So I'm going to just put my mark there and then cut straight down. Okay, and we're going to put this one right here. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I live in the Finger Lakes and we are getting unseasonably warm weather. Um, we're expected to break records today on this Monday, this Maker Monday. It will be, and I'm not, I don't know if I, do I want to take one of these skinny ones and put it at the top or not? Let's take a look. I just want one of them. I could put the purple down there, but I don't like that. I do, however, have, it says make offer on it. I have no idea where I got these. This is, oh, they've been around for a very long time. I mean, really long time. Where's my scissors? I've probably had these close to close to 30 years. And that's why I said it's time to pull them out and use them. There we go. We'll put a little bit of that right there. This one I think I can just snip. Um, yeah, I watch videos to get ideas for other people from other people. And that's really what we do as crafters, isn't it? We, we watch, we learn, we adapt. Um, this particular adaptation is, I don't know, I suppose it's not new. I don't, I don't know that anybody else is doing that. I'm sure somebody else is. Now I don't want to put that on there. I think I want to leave that just like that. Okay. Uh, there's two. Let's do this one up and put some trim on this one and then we're going to go back and I'm going to grab out the laces oh my glory if you see on this one I used a lace top up here I have one that I did a lace little frill there we're going to play we are definitely going to play okay I have this I don't know if I want to go with the same kind of colors this is a cork background um, do I want to go something brighter, something completely different? I can also go this way. If I do that, I kind of cover up the adventure. Well, no, I won't cover up the adventure because I'll only go that far. What colors on the other side? Blue. Do I like the blue better? A little bit brighter blue. If you don't have these, um, I made these with punches. So I that was the bottom of the punch, that was the top of the punch. So these were two parts of the same piece of paper. Um, you can definitely do them with punches. In fact, maybe we'll do maybe we'll do this one with a punch just to show that you can do this in a lot of different ways. So let me grab. I'm going to grab that same punch and I have a bunch of these that are solid color. I don't know if I got any of my solids out. Okay, let me grab that those. But I have all of these strips that are left over from other projects. I don't know if you get these strips as well. well I kind of like that purple. Let's do that in the purple. No, red. There we go. We'll do it in the red. Um, because this is probably going to go in my Mexico journal. So, and I am trying this. 
Fisker's piece. It doesn't always work as well as I'd like it to because this was second hand. There we go. And then you line up. Find it. There we go. You line it up so that they are exactly the same on that side. You punch again. And then you bring it over and you line it up again. I don't know if I'm doing that too far. There we go. Okay, so far so good. There we go. And it makes a pile underneath. Since it's flipped over, I'm going to go ahead and empty my pile. It's confetti. You can make it, use it as confetti. Um, if you haven't used these punches before, they are really very cool to use. I got this one for I think two dollars at a craft uh, or at a thrift store. We have a restore near us that is for Habitat for Humanity, and they had punches at one point. I had got this one and another one for I think two or three dollars each. Okay, now I could redo it and do it at the other end. I'm not going to because I don't want to goof it up and I'm on camera and so you know darn well I will goof it up. So <laughs> we're just going to get rid of those. But if you are, so now I have two pieces. Where'd my adventure thing go? There it is. So I could put it this way, or I could use this piece. I kind of like that piece right along there. I could put it underneath. Oh, I kind of like that too. Okay, so I'm going to save this. This is going to go in my borders. You know, the ones I'm trying to get rid of. I'll put my punch away. And let's... Put this here. And we're going to glue it up. So this is a couple different ways you can use up your borders. That's what today is all about, is using up the borders. I'm bringing it down just a little bit because I want the words to show, I've decided. So there's that one. And let's do it again down here. You know what? Of course, I have little things all over the place. I'm going to put it right again down here. And just cut it off this way. There. Now I don't. Now it looks like it's part of the pattern. It's not sticking. It, it will. It'll stick. All right. All right. I think I'm done with my borders for the moment. I have done three of them with the borders. Now let's. I'm going to pause the video and grab the laces. Okay. I'm back. Sorry, I jiggled my camera while I was getting out the lace and so hopefully I haven't messed up things too much. So what I did was I have pulled out a couple of different kinds of lace here. This was one I got in a package. Um, if you haven't seen, well, you, you won't see it yet. Uh, on Friday, you will see the unboxing video for my craft bits and pieces um, trip that I just went on. And this is some of the lace that I got there. And I will, I, I needed to show you this particular bargain. Craft Bits and Pieces is a secondhand store in Fairport, New York, and they do, they accept uh, fabric and lace and paper and uh, secondhand stickers uh, from everything. And then they, they just resell it. So they're crafters basically supplying other crafters. It's wonderful. 
and all the proceeds, everybody's there is a volunteer. The, there's a couple paid managers, but primarily it's a volunteer organization. And all of their proceeds go to various um, aging, basically elderly care uh, places around the area. So it's really cool. Three packages of unopened steam, seam binding for 25 cents. I mean, it's amazing. And I thought I would use that for this one. Now, I also found some focal points or some other decorations while I was looking for, you know, you know how it goes. You look for one thing and you find six others. So, and then you get distracted and you're like, oh, I could do this with that. And you start doing that with that. And the, the original project sits on your desk or gets moved to the side because you got sidetracked. Squirrel. That's the way it is with us crafters. We we see things and we like, okay, got to work on that. So these, this is a stamp. Both of these are stamps that I had done a while back. Um, this is on tracing paper. This one, I had colored some book pages. And I colored all the way down in the margins. And then... See if I can get any more of that on. Anyway, I uh, colored a couple of book pages, and you'll see that over here, and then stamped on them. And I just cannot seem to get a hold of the paper, and my fingers keep slipping off of it because I'm trying to do such a tiny, tiny part of it. There we go. I'm going to put that one right up there. So it says Paris Airmail, and this one says Welcome to London. So appropriate for that. Now, as for a lace top for this, or a, a, some sort of a top, or you could use, use ribbon. I happen to have this lace that I was thinking of putting down here, but now I put those down there, so I think I won't use that lace for that. Um, I think I want this lace. Hmm. I'm going to hold off on that. So this topper, or this piece, this was just some music page I doodled on. I did a couple of flowers. Just playing, you know, having a good time. Sitting in front of the TV. Just finding something to play with. And I'm just looking to see if I have a bit of yellow in here. I don't. So let me pull out my big big box and grab some yellow because I'm pretty sure I still have a big sheet of yellow in here. Um, there it is. So I'll grab a piece of the yellow and I'll grab a whole big piece and then I'll fill up my little one. So I, this is, I used to keep everything in here, but then I kept losing the little scraps in the big box. So I said, okay, time to change. We need to have something else to hold the little pieces in. So I'm thinking I want to do a layer here. Okay, let's do this quick. This won't take much time. Am I still on camera? I need to move up, don't I? Okay. I get moving around and I get myself out of position and then I don't know where I am. Okay, come here. If you haven't used uh, tissue paper before, it's really easy and adds a nice dimension. Um, tissue paper, this is gift tissue paper. It has two different sides, a shiny side and a matte side. I tend to put my matte side up, but you can do whatever you want. It's personal preference, or just sometimes it's just the way it. I pick it up off the table, and I don't pay any attention until I put it down. And already have glue on one side. So this is just some sheet music that I had, like I said, that I doodled a flower on. There we go. And this one I definitely want the lace for. Let me find the end. There's the end. And so let me just cut a little piece of this. 
And for a lace topper, I don't know, what is it? Two inches? Let me measure it. That's about two and a quarter inches that I put down there. I cut off there. I don't do a lot of measuring, obviously. Put just a little tab of glue there and attach. A lot of times you get these laces that um, kind of curl. That it's really hard to get them to go straight because if you do them straight, they ruffle, and that's the point of them. So it will make a ruffle curl rather or a ruffle tab rather than a straight tab, which is kind of cool. Okay, that's a big glop. Let me take my thing here and glop up some of that because that was a big glop of. I'm using Fabri-Tac for this because it will actually hold very well. Now I did not ink the edges on this one and this one will be green on the inside. I can choose to put lined paper on the inside or some sort of white paper on the inside if I wanted to, but I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. That'll be really nice in a nature journal. And if I do decide to put it in a nature journal, I can easily decide to ink the edges then, depending upon the journal that it's going into. I am, however, going to level it off because when I cut it, I didn't cut straight. So there, one folding tag done. Let's pull this one down. Now this one, this is again, this is a book tag that I went ahead and colored and then I just I did some stamping on the inside. There's two different stamps there. And then I just took a pen. I, I ripped it out into the square and then I took a pen and I made the little frame. It's not fancy. Um, I actually learned this particular technique from Carrie the Crafter. If I can find the video, I will link it below. Um, but he has several hundred videos out and sometimes it's hard to find them. I'll see what I can do, and I'll put that down there. And I'm, so I'm just going to put that, because that's already pretty busy, so I don't think it needs anything behind it. Now, I did cover up a lot of my little zigzag down here. Eh, that's. I'm learning that that's pretty uh, par for the course. And I want to use my seam binding tape for that, for this. Like I said, this is an unopened package that is obviously very old. The plastic is just crumbling. So let me pull my seam binding out of there because that plastic is not going to last long. Yeah, it's just disintegrating. Of course, I, I want it to disintegrate a little faster, but <laughs> come on. There, it's in pieces. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of this. And again, I'm going to take you know, some. I'm not sure what I dropped. I think I dropped a, a pen out of my holder over here. It's all right. We'll get it later. You will get glue on yourself doing this. Just enjoy it. Now, put that there. I'm going to put this here. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to fill up my Fabri-Tac again soon. I go through this stuff like crazy. I bought a big bottle the last time, but I'm using the little bottle. I like it in my hand better. So I fill up, keep filling up my little bottle. There. Now, what we can do, where's that other tape, other stuff? It's the same color. I'm debating, do I want to put a little thing over the top of it? If I hadn't cut off the corners, I would easily be able to do it, but I don't know that I, without it, with it. I think it's too much. 
Um, so I think I'm not going to. If I, I hang on, be right back. Okay, so I just went back digging through those. I had already put away the um, borders. So I went through to see if I liked that any better to match it with this. And I don't. And I don't like doing that. I think I'm going to leave it. What it does need, however, is a number. It need, definitely needs a little bit of a number somewhere on here. Just to give it a little... I have a 918. There we go. Where'd my glue go? This was a page number. I harvest page numbers from books when I am using up book pages. I often harvest the, the numbers. So there we go. We'll put a little number down there. Okay, now this one definitely needs to be inked, which, you know, I should have done before I put the um, tab on it. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm lucky that I remember to ink it all. You know me. Inking, I love the look of the ink. I just never think to put it on. I forget. And I get all done and I'm like, oh, look. I didn't ink it again. And I think I'm going to go ahead and ink the inside here. This will also look nice in a nature journal. I think I have to do a nature journal. I seem to be making a lot of things for nature journals at the moment. Every time I make something... And this is a mass make. You know, it, this is really quick and then I think I might just leave you as you are and go ahead and put a top on you and I kind of like the that for you too okay let's go ahead and take another chunk of this I let my I left my top off for a few minutes, so just need to add it. And it, it doesn't require a lot of glue, just a little bit. I don't want to cover up my word adventure. I was doing this yesterday, mass making a bunch of these, and oh my glory, my glue just went nuts. And I had to sit here and do all sorts of things with it. All right. I'm, again, not going to ink the edges because the journal that it's going into, I might want to put, like, blue around it. I don't know. Something bright because it's going into a journal that is very, very bright. All right. So there we go. Three cards quickly made. This one has a sticker on it. This one just has a little bit of decoration. But it's using up your scraps and your borders in order to create little pocket fold-out tags. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Um, I am... Coming up on 500 subscribers, which is amazing to me. So that's very cool. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here so I don't get it messed up. And uh, hit the bell if you want notifications as to when the next video is coming out. I have already done my Fabulous Friday video because that's going to be an unboxing video with all the wonderful things that I found at Craft Bits and Pieces in Fairport, New York. And then, of course, the Marguerite Miller Challenge comes out on Saturday. And then next week, we do it all over again with something different. So this is kind of cool. I hope you're having fun. If you are, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.